Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> okay. Have you ever seen a YouTube video? Have you ever seen them sponsored? Well, this one isn't. But I've seen I've seen so many videos sponsored by Magic Spoon that I just had to try it. Now, okay. Now, the first box they send you, of course, is the sam the sampler with four different kinds. Cocoa, fruity, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. And, uh, well, I th well, I thought I'd try them once just to see if it's worth, worth the trouble. Well, for the record, this box of four, after shipping, cost me $51 Canadian. And the boxes, the size of the box is one, is a, all four boxes are 198 grams. Now, the smallest, the smallest boxes of cereal I could find in town, they're equivalent, well, name brand. The smallest box I could find in town is between 300 and 350 grams. So, right away, it's almost half, half as much as you'll get in, in the store. And the average price of the, of the, of the same size of cereal, between 599 and 699. So yeah, it's losing on both counts, size, size, of the port, size of the box, and the cost. So yeah, that's not looking good. It had damn well better taste good. That's all I'm saying. And we're gonna find that out now in a moment, aren't we? Okay. So basically, I got four small little ramekin things there. I got my milk, and I got a little spoon. Basically, all you need. So, I'm gonna try try them all each. Then I'm gonna put them all together. See what they're like all together. All right, this one. Oh yeah. See that? Half. Yeah, we'll probably get you. That nearest equivalent I can find in town is Fruit Loops, of course, obvious. Huh. Well, it says it's, it is it's supposed to be zero sugar, four grams of carb, net carbs, 13 grams of protein, high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious. Now that part, that last part remains to be seen. Give me a minute. Anywho, we start with the fruit. The fruity. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Believe me, the bowl isn't that big. Here's what it looks like in the bowl. Back there for now. Take out the milk. No, it floats like Fruit Loop, anyways. Whew. And let's see. Uh, only three colors that near as I can see: red, yellow, and blue. Try to get a spoonful with each. There we go. Try that again. Hmm. 
not really getting much of a flavor off of it. Get more flavor from the milk than the cereal. Mm. Yeah, maybe it soaks the milk up a little bit better. I'll try another, another spoonful in a minute. Okay, next up, cocoa. Yeah, I'm assuming the equivalent would be uh, a Nesquik cereal or or cocoa puffs. Smells chocolatey anyways. No issue. It seems to be clumping together a lot. That's odd. I don't usually see cereal that clumps together like that. Anyway. Another Yeah, that's not typically a good sign. See how it's clumping. Yeah. Not a good sign. Yes. A little sip of water to cleanse the palate. Okay, here we go. Spoonful of cereal. Yeah, it can taste the cocoa, anyways. So at least, so they, it's got that edge over the fruit, over the fruity. Oh look, it's even changing the color of the milk, which is always a plus. So you get a little bit of chocolate milk in there with, yeah, because it's, it's probably why it's clumping, because all the chocolate coating is sticking to the cereal. Definitely chalk taste the cocoa. Not very not particularly sweet. Almost like dark chocolate bar. Okay, anyways, try that again when it's soaked up more of the milk. Next, frosted. I'll be honest, after the fruit, I let all the for this one. Okay. So before I move the bag a little bit more. It's not clumped together the way the chocolate was. Hmm. 
smells like burnt marshmallows. Anything. Okay, frosted. Yeah, I assume it's like frosted Cheerios. A little closest thing I could find to our st uh, store supermarket around the corner there was a frosted flakes. Almost tastes like marshmallow. <sighs> mm. Mm. A little better than I was expecting. Flavor with olives and uh, monk fruit extract. Yeah. Hmm. Making that one ahead right now. Okay, and the final flavor, peanut butter. I think the bag seems to fill up better than the fruit. Dirtier liner bag, too. Yeah. Strange. And yeah, you can smell the peanut butter. Mm. Okay, does it actually contain peanut butter? No proteins. Sweetener blend, uh, oil blend, tapioca starch, peanut oil, peanut flour, mm. peanut extract.
You know when you open a uh, when you o open a peanut and it's got that uh, and you take it out of the shell, it's got that little uh, kind of a papery uh, covering on it. That cereal tastes like that covering. Mm. Yeah, tastes like peanut shells basically. <laughs> Don't taste a peanut at all. So that is... Yeah. Okay, if I were to rank them based on this first sample... Actually, let me try this fruit. Try this fruit one now that it's soaked up more of the milk. Hmm. Actually, as it soaks up the milk, I'm tasting a little bit more of the fruit flavor. But it is still pretty weak. Let's try the cocoa. Now that it's soaked up some of the milk. That's actually worse. I mean, it's like all the flavor got absorbed into the milk. And all you're left with is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, whatever those are made of. Yeah. So that knocks up the, chocolate, the cocoa down a notch. Try the frosted. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Not as good as the first mouthful. First couple spoons were. Yeah, because all the flavor is going into the milk. <sighs> Frankly, that can only help the peanut butter. Yeah, not a mug. <laughs> okay, now, let's see what they're all like together, shall we? Thinking I should have got a bigger bowl. Yeah, you can see all the chocolate, all the cocoa flavoring gone into the bottom of the bowl here. Anyways. Trying a spoonful with everything on it. All three of the fruit flavors. Peanut butter. Marshmallow. Sorry, frosting. Cocoa. Come on, Cocoa. And here we go. Mm. Yeah, the frosting overpowered, <laughs> overpowered everything else. Into fruit, but at least it muted the peanut butter. So, okay, my review <sighs> definitely not worth it. Okay, like I said, $51 for what I can buy on the shelf here, name brand, for about fit for about 10, 15, no, about 20. Six twelve, yeah. Yeah, bye, bye.
guy here for 20 that, and that's name brand. And I can get store brand for cheaper than that, too. Yeah, and I get twice as much. And it would taste a lot better. So, yeah. My opinion? Totally not worth it. So basically, don't buy this shit. Okay, here you go. Final, unbiased hand, unbiased review. This stuff's crap. Don't eat it. Healthy, it's healthier, but it does not taste good. I mean, the frosted one tastes okay. Coke, the, and the cocoa one is all right. It, if you get to it before before the, the flavor washes off of it, fruit flavor one has a comeback when you when it gets soaked in milk. That's peanut butter. Ooh. Yeah, definitely not worth the trouble. Not worth the trouble. Not worth the hassle. Not worth the two weeks it took to get in here. Not worth the fifty one bucks it cost me. Not worth it. Don't get it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time the inspiration strikes. Later.